Hey, what's going on? I figured I'd touch base and uh, say hello before I started putting music on again. Uh, there's several things I'm working up, and I'm getting to be more of a perfectionist, so you're just going to have to wait. Or I'm going to have to wait. So I'm happy with it. Um, it's been a crazy month. Today was Thanksgiving. I worked, made decent money, but really working on a holiday. Um, when there were plenty of friends and family I could spend it with. Uh, that's neither here nor there. At least I have a wonderful house with my wonderful piano that brings me peace on a daily basis. So, still practicing a lot. Um, I'll have to post something new for you. Heather, in particular. Not Sister Heather, but Heather, my co-worker. She, she, she's like my biggest fan. And I just get a kick out of the fact that people actually like it. So, makes me feel like I'm doing something worthy. Uh... This is the next thing I'm going to sleep to. Aku Aku. It's the last instrumental track on Styx Pieces of Eight from the late 70s. It's, um, it's kind of like the AOR version, AOR version of Love and Rockets and their song Saudade which ends Seventh Stream of Teenage Heaven, is in also one of the most beautiful songs ever recorded. Can't seem to replicate that one just right. It's going to require a lot of lush layers. But uh, Aku Aku gets nice and spacey there while still maintaining a, a kind of a harmonic melody. And it gives me chills, and that's the true test. Does this music give me chills? If it doesn't, trash it. Um, newest on the block, Cocksure. Chris Connolly from Revolting Cox. Uh, I'm so fucking excited about that. It's a song called Clusterfuck Culture with the chorus, nothing more than motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Um... But it's great. It's just like the old school revolting cocks. Uh, minus all the drama that came with, dare I say, hate. Working with Al Jorgensen. It happens. But he still put out some good music in his time. Skinny Puppy's getting ready to do a tour in March. Uh, probably March and April. Uh, Baal. B A L. B-A-A-L from Japan is supporting them. And uh, simultaneously, Nine Inch Nails will pick up the 2014 leg of the rest of their tour, I think. Uh, Australia, New Zealand, South America, UK, Europe, Russia, and... Finland, Amsterdam, up that direction. Um, and very more, more than likely, probably in another arena tour at the end of it all uh, to wrap up 2014. So Trent seems to like to go on tour for two years at a time. So more power to him. Uh, I can only handle about a week of it. So um, anyway, just thought I'd come on and say hello. It's been a while. Take care.